What's up, new people? Welcome to the United Stand. Welcome to the road trip, man. Um, on our way up to Old Trafford for this huge derby game against Man City today. And it um, feels proper weird, man. It, it, the conundrums are just flying around in your head. Oh, if we win, then it means this. If we draw, then it means that. If we lose, then it means this. If Arsenal drop points, it means that. It's just a lot to think about right now from a Man United point of view. Um, and no matter what you make of it, um, I think it's obviously a massively important game, especially with the run of the form that we're in and what it means for our top four chances, but also obviously with the Liverpool thing as well. I mean, we, we clearly don't want Liverpool to win the league, 99.9% .9 of Man United fans um, don't want Liverpool to win the league, but we have to think of ourselves. And I've been torn today, I was on BBC Five Live um, this morning talking about the game, and I jokingly said in the morning that, um, I haven't made my mind up yet what I want the result to be because I was like, I don't know, I'll decide when I get to the stadium. But when you break it down, man, you, you can't want your team to lose, man. Look, as much as it would burn me for Liverpool to win the league, I would hate for them to win the league, you got to take care of numero uno, man. And, you know, you can't go into the game thinking, you know, I hope we lose and get battered. Like, I, I just don't want that to happen. The problem is, is that I think there's a high chance that could happen just because of how shit we're playing right now. Um, Ollie's um, interviews with Gary Neville, Pogba's interviews um, with Laura Woods, so they're, they're, they're saying a lot, they've said that they hurt, they said that they're distraught and you know they got outrun and the desire wasn't there and all of this all of this shit which we could all see. But it's all words, isn't it? You, yeah, that you wanna hear that, you're gonna hear that after a result that bad. But Ollie said, you know, this is the game, you know, if these guys can't get up for it at Man against Man City at home after that type of game then it will show a lot um, in terms of the, the mentality of these players. Because for me, whether, whatever's riding on it, whether City are gonna win the league or Liverpool gonna win the league, whatever, it's about personal pride for the club. The club has to come first, I'm sorry. I know for the club in, its, in the entirety, it won't be great for Liverpool to win the league um, with us about. That's not great, but in terms of our own top four, we've got to try and finish the highest we can finish, you know? But you know what? Only Man United, though, can get into this position. We spoke about this for months even before. You know, the, the little jokes of, oh, imagine when we get to play Liverpool, and sorry, when we get to play that, that, that Manchester derby, and it, and it gives City the lead, uh, the Liverpool the league and all that. But we was all like, nah, Liverpool would have bottled it by then. And <laughs> here we are in late April, with um, knowing that if we do beat City, or even if we draw against City, it puts Liverpool in the ascendancy, but we need to not think about that. We need to not think about that as hard as it is, because it is for me. I am in. I was in two minds in terms of, oh, I, I want to win, but I don't want to win, you know. But I, when it comes down to it, man, you have to support your team and you have to want your team to win every single game they play. If Liverpool win the league as a result of it, then unfortunately so be it. But we have to look after number one, man. I don't want to see us going and getting peppered in this game, like, you know. For me, I think a draw is almost like one of the worst things to do because a draw doesn't really do anything for us in terms of the top four, but it, it still gives Liverpool the league. Um, and if you lose, um, then obviously, okay, you, City can go on and maybe win the league over Liverpool. So look, winning this game would be massive, especially going into the Chelsea game. And that's what we're looking to do, build confidence, man. Build confidence. Very interesting, Oli, um, his interview with Gary Neville saying that, you know, there will be consequences from that level of performance against Everton. Um, you guys saw my views on the Flex and Run show. And I was still fuming even then. That was the day after we filmed that on the Monday, the day after Everton game. And I, even, I said to Rance, there were certain players I just couldn't defend. I know I picked out a Martial, Rashford was another one, Lukaku was another one. I just couldn't defend them. I couldn't. I had, I had no words for what I was actually physically watching with my eyes right in front of me i saw people not running for balls i saw it and you can't have that you can't have that a lot of rumors about um pogba potentially you know saying telling his teammates that he's um he's off in the summer and again in the in this flexor rancho i said the same about De Gea and and pogba not because i don't think they're good players and not because i don't think they can make it man united but if then if they don't want to be around for this rebuild because they want to go on to bigger and better things then then sell them then sell them, take the money, they'll go with my blessing because we need a clean slate from that. We need players going into the summer and, in, uh, and into next year who are gonna be 100% um, behind the plan. 
because if we don't have that and we don't have players on the same wavelength as the manager we, we can't start this rebuild again you know this is like the fourth slash four, yeah about yeah the fourth rebuild now this is in in what six seven years so we need a clean slate you know it's all about whether Oli sits down with Pogba and says similar to the Ronaldo thing give me one more year give me one more year of absolute hard work dedication I'm going to get XYZ players in and you can be part of it for this year then you, you get your wish and you go to Real Madrid or if, he's, if Pogba's saying I don't fancy it to see you later I defend Pogba as much as I can I love Pogba I think he's a world class player um, he hasn't had world class form but I believe he's a world class player um, playing in a, in a team that don't match up to his standard a lot of the time. I keep saying this misconception with Pogba that he should be able to run the midfield and run the whole game. Well, I'm sorry, if you took Kevin De Bruyne and stuck him in our midfield, would everything be rosy? If you took Verratti, if you took Modric, if you took all of these types of players and just stuck them in, in our current team, with our back four, with our current midfielders, with our misfiring forwards, would there be much of a difference? Would they even have as much goals and assists as Pogba this year? Probably not. I know Pogba... His, his, his good form came in that little three month period where he hit like nine nine goals in that in that little period. I get it, but still, the numbers don't lie. He's one of the highest scoring midfielders and um, and assist makers in the league, if not the, for midfielders. So, you know, that goes without saying. But I just want to say, if he, if he doesn't want to be part of it, we should absolutely cash in. If he doesn't want to be part of it. I'm not saying try to sell him because he's not good enough and I don't think he's trying and he hates the club and all this crap and he's a merchant and virus and all that. I don't, I don't honestly believe that. But for me, my thing is, if he's not going to be part of the project, you can go. The same with De Gea. He saved us enough time to be able to decide when he wants to leave and I don't think any Man United fan will have anything bad to say about De Gea. He's been a fantastic servant to the club. He's won things with us. Nowhere near half what he should have won. Um, and, and even challenged for so for him you can understand he's in his prime now um, as a keeper he's not going to get any better than he is he's, he's reached his peak so now's the time for his, his big contract it's whether he wants to sign another five years four years to Man United or three years whatever it's whether he wants to do that um, or whether he wants to go on to bigger and better things so th tonight's game how do we approach it Oli spoke about Man City you know chomping at the bit and they'll be at your heels there'll be tactical fouls and stuff like that one thing you got to remember is City have never really been in a title, a title chase, like a real title challenge, fighting for it. When they've won it, they've usually kind of ran away with it. Um, from what I can remember, anyway, off the top of my head, I can't. They definitely haven't been in a in a title race as tight as what Liverpool are making this. And even in that Tottenham game when they got the early goal, when Foden scored, it was very, very tense. Very, you know, going into the latter stages of that match, you can sense the nervousness around them. Um, and, they, and they obviously went on to see it out 1-0 but make no mistake they will be nervous as well they haven't been themselves in recent games I know they've, they've won their last 10 games but this is the business end of the season against Man United at Old Trafford if it gets to the 60th minute the 70th minute still 0-0 there will be a lot of squeaky bums there you know um, so the way they're going to approach it they, they, they could be nervous but they will be fighting they, they want this title and they are going to come at us they're going to come at us with everything and like Oli's saying if you can't get your, they can't get themselves up for this game they may as well walk out the door now. I think we have to play on the counter. We have to. Um, yes, City will try and block that, but if we try and go all hell for leather against City, we'll get outplayed. The same when you play a Liverpool. You can't just try and match them. You have to have a game plan. Um, for me, team selection-wise, Oli's already said there's going to be changes and consequences for people. For me, Lukaku can't start. Um, it's difficult because the whole front three has been poor, to be fair. I would actually take Martial out um, because he's been poor. But it's whether their reaction's been good in training, whether Oli's had conversations with these guys to say, listen, you were absolute disgrace um, on Sunday against Everton, but I'm going to give you another chance and this is what I want to see from you. And he's seen, he's seen that in training. It's whether, it's whether or not that, because realistically, I was saying play all the youth players. And I know that was in anger straight after the game. Um, but I did genuinely mean it because I, I, I'm seeing such shit from our front three that none of them weren't starting let's face it none of them weren't starting Rashford doesn't deserve to start Lukaku doesn't deserve to start and neither does Martial based on current four Alexis I'll probably start him I probably would that sounds crazy but we're going to need some energy up there we're going to need work rate as well which he'll give he hasn't given us much in terms of quality but you know he'll, he'll try um, Lingard's a weird one because he's been terrible as well but he wasn't really part of that loss um, at 
at Everton, so you might argue that you could put him in. But there isn't a real stake a claim where it's kind of like the front three has to be this. I just feel with Lukaku though, we know the flaws and I just can't see him just all of a sudden being able to link the play well and holding up the ball well and giving us what we need. Whereas the others, I feel like they could maybe turn it on because they're different types of players and you know getting into channels and, and running hard and, and, and putting people under pressure in the right areas. I feel that Rashford's maybe capable of doing that, um, stepping out of bad form or Lingard or Martial as opposed to um, as opposed to a Lukaku. Midfield, for me, Matic can't play. It'd be very interesting to see if Oli sticks to his word there. I mean, Matic came out himself and said how bad he was. Um, so I don't think he should play. It's got to be McTominay for me, Fred and Pogba. Uh, I think that midfield it almost kind of picks itself. Um, I really don't want to see Matic starting. I, I, I hope that they don't just go with him because of the experience thing and all of this shit. McTominay has showed that he's better than him in the, in the, in the last few weeks um, to a month when Matic has been injured and even when Matic has come back into the side he's looked, he's looked horrendous probably one of the worst players on the pitch at Everton um, and the back four man we, we certainly can't be having Phil Jones um, playing centre half instead of Victor Lindelof um, Smalling will probably keep his place um, and you know what me and Rant said as well the Ashley Young thing as much as we don't want him to play he probably will play and if, he, if it's a toss up between him playing right back and Lindelof I'd actually go with Ashley Young because you look at Delot at right back and he's not very good, let's face it. He's not good defensively. Or well, he hasn't shown that he's good defensively. Delot's De Lot, De look good when he's right wing um, or right midfield in a, in a, in a four. So um, for me, I, I wouldn't chance putting Delot right back. I don't, think he's, I don't think he's played well enough. Ashley Young, for all his fjords, don't get me wrong, has been terrible, dreadful. But it just shows, it's, it's the club's fault. It, it, it shows, like, who, you know, to be fair, I would I would just chance Darmian, really. I would, but I know that they won't do that. They've, they've clearly shown they don't want Darmian to be part of anything. They haven't trusted him um, to throw him into anything. I would have played him against Everton, really. I would have put him left um, left back. Um, so, you know, or right back. So, But but the, the club, the, Oli and the boys have shown that they're not looking to bring Darmian in. So I'm only going on what I think they will do. And for me, Ashley Young will probably start again because... You know that they've shown that they trust them in the big games for whatever stupid reason that is. They clearly do. And Luke Shaw's back in at left back. So yeah, that's basically the team really. Front three up for grabs. There's my midfield three, and there's my back four. Um, and hopefully we can get the win. I know it sounds weird saying it because of the Liverpool thing, but I'm sorry. On my way up to the game now, we have to think of ourselves, man. And I want, I would hate to see Liverpool win the league, but. We have to take care of ourselves. I'm not going into a game wanting my team to lose. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I just can't do it and I won't do it. Um, I support Man United and all things Man United. And if we've got a game, I want us to win it. I don't give a shit about Liverpool. If they win the league, they win the league. They win the league because they deserve to win the league, not because we beat City or because we didn't beat City or we drew to City. It's as simple as that. Um, so that's where I stand on it. Miles, how do you, what do you stand on it, man? Yeah, I pretty much agree with every sentiment that you've made. Um, we need the win regardless of whoever is going to win the league because of it. Um, I'm not really looking at Liverpool or City because we haven't been anywhere near good enough to even affect what what they've been doing, do you know what I'm saying? So because of that, we need the three points for us and I desperately want Champions League football um, and I feel like it's kind of one of the only ways we can possibly keep some of our bigger players and attract more in. Otherwise, I just see a massive overhaul and then we're literally back to when Sir Alex Ferguson left the club, like yeah. back to square one. Which we kind of are already, innit? Because yeah, he's yeah. like, with Oli coming in, that's the thing, we've got to rebuild no matter what. And yeah, it'd be good to get top four. Yeah. Um, how far will we even challenge in it? In the Champions League, probably not, but way off. But, because there is the argument that, you know, some people say, we're not even challenging in yeah. the Champions League, we're just being there to make up the numbers. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, and all the club does is, um, is, is get money out of it. But I, just, I tell you what, mate, it's going to be us who are going to have to make them fucking cold journeys to minus 13 yeah. places and shit. So I ain't really looking to do that. <laughs> You're open to be honest with you, but if we don't win today, then it, it probably will be that. And depending on the Arsenal result as well, we could still be in with a shout after today. So you never know if we lose. But I agree with you, man. I, I, I can't I, um, want my team to lose. I, just, I can't do it and I won't do it. If Liverpool win the league, look, we're, it's a laughing stock anyway because two of our biggest rivals are going to win the league. So. You know, it's awful if Liverpool win it. Unthinkable, unbearable. I will deactivate. 
um, over Twitter and stuff like that. But what can you do in it? You got to think of number one. I ain't thinking about them because it, it hurts too much. Let me know your predictions, guys. Let me know your team lineups. Um, and drop those views and comments in the boxes below, man. Let me know what you guys are saying. And I'll see you guys at the fan camps, hopefully with a win or to your lot home. What? Hopefully with a loss, hopefully with a draw. Let me, let me know what you guys want. Do you want to win, loss or draw? Let me know. Peace.